All right, so we're checking out the only game where you can make a mutated, hideous, radioactive, two-headed airplane. It's X-Plane 11. I found some interesting things out in X-Plane. This glorious X-rated mating between two planes that love each other very much is one of the things. So I found that you could mess with a bunch of planes in the sky in real time and create horrible instances like this by adding additional computer generated planes and doing whatever the hell you want with them. We've already made a plane that likes to go straight to hell. So I thought why not put some of the horrible kill me planes that I made against one another in Mortal Kombat. Or at least that's what I thought and this ended up happening. So the plan is I want to get all these planes together and I want to eventually create the largest bird strike that has ever occurred with 747s. Honestly, it'll probably be the largest bird strike for any plane ever, but I just, I'm gonna be using 747s because they're awesome. You ever had barbecue shredded chicken? That's what we're gonna be making. I love how this is occurring. And then way in the background, you can see like the angry father chasing these two planes as they run away together. He's like, come back with my daughter, you son of a bitch. This was actually something that happened when I walked away and looked back and suddenly two planes were inside of one another. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this down real quick right on top of this retirement home. <laughs> okay, first things first, I need to take all these planes that don't deserve to be together and I wanna create a giant Hydra cluster of planes. If we can manage to do that, I'll be happy. But if we can go further than that and put down a flock of birds and crash all the planes at the same time, I, I, I don't know, something magical will happen. We'll find the end to global warming, global cancer warming. I named this plane cocaine. I just don't remember what I did with it. Oh. That's right, I gave it about 6 billion horsepower and the ability to take off in about a three foot runway. This is new and exciting. I don't think I've ever had a plane crash at idle speed before. That's all right, 17, 737s having an orgy together. That's rookie numbers. We're going straight to the 747s. All right, all I have to do is just get all these low sperm count Cessnas out. I just noticed too, I have a 747 that I made called Why God Why. I think we'll try that one second. First things first, I need to see if I can actually get everyone working together. Perfect. I think the reason that I like the 747 the most is because you actually get a pilot and a co-pilot. So you get to enjoy the exploits of like Clint Beastwood over here and his co-pilot Kyle. Kyle's over here. He's like, can we get this done? I've got a math test in two hours. Don't worry, Kyle. We'll get you to your math test, or we'll die trying. <laughs> now, fortunately, X-Plane 11 gives us a couple of tools in order to ruin lives like we want to. Don't ask me why, but for some reason, you can choose and change everything about your plane all at once. Like the speed! <laughs> want your plane to do full flips? Why not? Okay, so we've got to bring in, we've got to bring in the group hug here. I got to make sure everyone's coming toward us. This guy over here, see him? He's taking forever to turn. Bullshit. I like how these two planes are just flying directly at one another. They don't take the advice about how not to cross the streams. Pilot's over here, he's looking around. Suddenly he's like, what is that thing in the distance? <laughs> <laughs> I've never been a pilot before, but I feel like if you looked out your front window and this was what you saw, it would be time to almost sh yourself. Can I legitimately zoom in and see Kyle in this other plane? Hold on, this, this is a very delicate procedure. <laughs> yes, there they are. He's over here. He's like, there could be only one. All right, boys, play nice. Make me proud. Ah, uh, it's airplane chicken. My favorite kind. Now you may say to yourself, you may say to yourself, but Gray, from this position, aren't they going to miss? No, because we have the power of being a cheating bastard in our hands. If I want all these different 747s to be hugging one another, it's gonna take a lot of effort. All right, yeah, just, just shove it right in there. Perfect, right like that. Okay, they're almost touching at this point. Just gotta ease it down a little bit. There we go. I just need to wait for the rest of this mess to get here and we can make some glorious things happen. Okay, so you get these lined up right about like this. A little closer, a little closer. Right about like that. There we go, that's some Blue Angel stuff. All right, hold on, let me get all of the planes like following me. It's like a cop trying to pull someone over. It's awesome to actually watch the plane turn in midair like this. Hey, come on, just shove it in there. Okay, here we go, here we go. We've got three now, all kind of clustered together. Oh my God, I thought it was three. There's like seven of them here. I've got to change some of the heights. Okay, everyone's on the same level now. I can tell right now. These two guys are like, this is why you needed our stem cells. That's right, you're like the Mr. Smith of the 747 world. All right, let's see here. How, 
How well are you bastards gonna behave? Not too bad, actually. All right, we got another one rolling in here. I just need to turn it at just the right time. Wait for it. Wait for it. You see him up there? Now, there we go. Drop the altitude a little bit. Beat him up so he can catch up with the rest of this. Perfect. Okay, after a little bit of circling, I now have one 747 shoving its ass into the face of another 747. All right, yeah, just kind of, hold on. Just insert right in there. Perfect. A little bit, little bit faster. Yeah, just like you're taking her out to the movies. Just put your arm right around her. Right like that. Got it. All right, now you, I need you going faster. All right, now slower. Okay, I've got three now. I told you I was gonna be making a Hydra out of these. I love how this guy is over here. He's like, I'm the head of this human centipede. Okay, let's see. You need to be going way faster. Okay, we've got four doing the Congo right now. This is, this is probably my favorite shot of this because it legitimately looks like all of the 747s are holding hands like they're on a, a first grade field trip and they need to stay together. <laughs> That's right, we're in gangland. You wanna go to the bathroom, you gotta take at least three friends with you. I'm watching these four planes chase this one plane. I can tell they're all like, why don't you wanna be our friend? It's like the most cursed plane image ever. All right, I just gotta drag this one back here somehow. We get up to like, five or so. Okay, we have to get at least six planes all caressing one another or I won't be happy. If I can get all of them, it'll be a goddamn miracle. Got it. <laughs> oh man, I've never felt so accomplished. Some might be like, what are you doing with your life? The answer is living it to the fullest. I don't know about you, but this feels totally healthy to me. It's a bunch of 747s at 8,000 feet. They're all just getting gonorrhea. Okay, we've got two pretty close by. We might be able to drag them in here too. Okay, we've got a clear half dozen now. Perfect. God, it's like the flight of the sugar plum fairies. I think the best part is that these are all controlled by the, the computer and the computer's probably like, I don't know what to do with this. It's actually keeping them together quite well. <laughs> yeah, keep going guys, you're doing great. It's beautiful. This is completely the way that all- Oh my God. Did look at this rare instance in plainhood when two fully grown 747s become one. Look at it, right there. Legit, this is how planes were meant to be flown. What's particularly interesting is here's the other seats for the uh, the pilot and the co-pilot, but there's no one there. It's like they fused into each other. Clint's over here, he's like, no, I got rid of them in a much easier fashion. Cannibalism. All right, guys, keep it together. We got a lot more planes coming in. See this plane back here? Watch this. I could be like, hey, Mr. Plane, do you want to taste the flesh of your brethren? And he's like, yes. All right, cool. We got another plane in this flock. Now, once I get enough planes together, I'm going to put them all on top of one another, and then I'm going to shove about 6,000 seagulls into their turbines, and we'll see what happens. Come on, man. You're way at the back of the line. Hurry up and catch up. Okay, sweet. The entirety of the rest of them are starting to catch up now. Okay, <laughs> this is what we've got so far. There's four up here, and then we've got six more back here. That's right, everyone. Nice. Looking good. Looking good. Yep, just kind of... Ooh, I wasn't expecting a triple. Look at this. It's a freaking hat trick here. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of hot. All right, guys, nice and slow. We need the rest of these planes to catch up over here so we can do the biggest bird strike in the entire history of planing. All right, stop him right about there. Turn him like this, cant him down. Okay, we're almost at a dozen at this point. All right, come on, slow poke. You're the last friggin' one. The birds can't wait forever. There is so much smoke that these engines are Pouring out. Gotta pitch you down a little bit. There we go. Okay. After painstaking work and about a 50% reduction in frame rates, I've managed to get everyone together finally. God, it's like herding freaking cats. All right, now just get right on top of these ones right here. A little bit more, a little bit more. Right there. Hot. All right, F in chat for the birds. Oh, God. <laughs> Here they come. Look at all the birds. What the hell happened? Some of the birds got vaporized before they even reached the planes. This is the most horrific bird massacre the world has ever seen. Look at it. All the planes are forcing the birds to like turn about face. It's like a giant tornado of bird death. They've all been immediately deep fried by all the engines. Okay. 
I've got everyone lined up now for the bird strike. After this, I'm going to use the Y God Y plane just to see what happens if there's 20 of those in the air. All right, go ahead and commit mass bird genocide. There they come. Remember how I said that last scene was like my favorite scene? I've changed my mind. It, I think it's now this. You know it's a bad day as a bird? When you get to hit 12 different planes. Okay, everyone here has flown together surprisingly well. I don't think that the computer is gonna be able to handle the power that I've given the Y God Y planes, but I mean, I'm willing to give it a shot. Also, another bird strike, just for good measure. You know how you can get those like really tiny chicken poppers over at Popeye's or whatever? That's how it's done. I appreciate that I was able to make my own bird flock with all these planes. Something I just realized because of the bird strike, like, I'm losing altitude and I'm eventually going to crash. Are all these planes just going to follow me like lemmings to their death? Okay, that's probably pretty scary. Go ahead and touch down here nice and easy. Perfect. Oh, the, <laughs> the other planes do touch down. That would just kiss the freaking tops of all those houses. All right, just got to move everyone over to the Y God Y747. You can always tell the Y God Y because it has the unicorn horn on the front. I mean, I guess the other thing about it is it takes off in like, you know, half a second. Um, okay, real quick. Does anyone see what's happening to the rest of the plate? What the shit nope. is this? Okay, we have to go and find out exactly what the hell is going on over here. Okay, straight up, look at this plane. It just does a full 180 all the time. I'm hitting the afterburners. We gotta get over there faster. Yes, I installed afterburners on this plane. All right, I'm almost over on top of one of these things. Okay, I found it. Now to see exactly what the hell's going on. I mean, it looks like it's flying okay. Never mind, it is not okay. I'm not really sure um, what went wrong, but um, I think I see now why all the planes are doing this in the mapping software. On the plus side, this gives us the opportunity to see exactly what this modified plane can do. Eh, about 1100 knots. And also it hits the planet so hard that it bounces about uh, one mile up in the air. Well, we did it. We managed to achieve the largest bird strike in the history of plane flying. And for that, I can say I'm genuinely happy. I'm gonna go ahead and leave you with this one random ass car that's just trucking along on this road in the middle of friggin' nowhere. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of X-Plane 11. Till next time, stay foxy and much love.